the breaking news that we're all familiar with at this point is that Russell Wilson has been traded to the Denver Broncos in exchange for a plethora of picks. Uh, we're, let's go ahead and show you the details right now of that trade, what the Seattle Seahawks acquired and what the Denver Broncos acquired. Uh, so showing you guys the uh, ransom, I should say, that the Broncos gave up for Russell Wilson. Uh, the Seahawks received Drew Locke, Noah Fant, Shelby Harris, two first rounders, two second rounders, and a fifth round pick for Russell Wilson and a fourth rounder. By the way, throughout the duration of this video, leave your comments down below. Let me know in the comments who won this trade. Was it the Denver Broncos? Was it the Seattle Seahawks? I, I think given the Matthew Stafford, Jared Goff trade between the Rams and the Lions from last year, this is very, uh, I would say, equivalent to something like this. But the Broncos gave up a lot more uh, in this instance. But it, it kind of matches and mimics what the Rams did in trying to get a Super Bowl contending team. So leave your comments down below and let me know your thoughts. But we're asking the question in this segment right now, are the Denver Broncos contenders following the Russell Wilson trade? My opinion, yes. The Broncos are contenders now. Because if you think about it, everybody was talking about in the offseason, if Aaron Rodgers went to the Broncos, how would the Broncos be? Would they be Super Bowl contenders? A lot of people would say, yeah, they are because of Aaron Rodgers and how much he upgrades that team. Well, didn't work out with Rodgers. He stays in Green Bay. Now John Elway has his eyes set on Russell Wilson, bringing him in to be their next franchise quarterback. John Elway has this thing with veteran quarterbacks. I don't know what it is, but he likes to trade for veteran QBs. It started with Peyton Manning, one of the best quarterbacks in NFL history. You're available. I want you on my team. Worked out with them. Had a Super Bowl victory out of it. Then after that, didn't really work out. Joe Flacco, didn't work out. Case Keenum, didn't work out. Teddy Bridgewater, didn't work out. And then finally, he had an epiphany. He had a real realization looking at the Los Angeles Rams winning the Super Bowl in 2021, going all in, less need, general manager, wearing a t-shirt that says, FM picks, we don't care about the future, we want to win right now. John Elway had that realization, why am I settling for average when I can bring in one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL, why am I settling and bringing in an average quarterback and trying to build around him when really the quarterback could be the one that helps catapult this team to an above 500 team, to a playoff contender, to a Super Bowl contender? Here is why the acquisition of Russell Wilson makes the Denver Broncos a Super Bowl contender. Number one, you were just a quarterback away. That's it. You have the offensive line. You have the wide receivers. Jerry, Judy, Cortland Sutton, Tim Patrick, great. You have the running backs and pending what Melvin Gordon does. If he leaves, that's okay. Javante Williams could be your three down back. But if you re-sign Melvin Gordon, that's a plus. You have the defense already. Patrick Sertan, one of the best young corners in the NFL. That not a lot of people realize this shut down a lot of top receivers in the NFL last year. Terry McLaurin, Jamar Chase. Jamar Chase probably only had one bad game last year, and it was because he was lined up against Patrick Sertan. So they got the talent there. They got young pieces there. And they were just a quarterback away, and now they acquire Wilson, their franchise quarterback, for at least the next five years or so. Another reason I say that the Broncos are in a good spot and why they won this trade is because of their salary cap. I would say they're probably, uh, don't quote me on this, but probably top 10, top 12 in the NFL. They have $26 million available that they could use to spend on impending free agents. Now, what that means is a lot of these players could take the route of when they signed with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, kind of similar to that when Tom Brady went to the Bucs. Everybody was taking discounts to go to that team so they can win the Super Bowl. Leonard Fournette, discount. Ndamukong Kongsu, discount. Gronkowski, out of retirement. Antonio Brown. Like a lot of players took that discount knowing that they could win that Super Bowl. And I think in the free agency, I wouldn't be surprised if some top players out there, like they need some help in the secondary, Marcus Williams, for example, could be like, yeah, I'll accept two, three million dollars less just so that I can go to Denver knowing that you have a Super Bowl contending team. There's got to be a lot of players out there like that. Now, they did give up quite a bit, including the draft picks, but let's just walk through it real quick. The draft picks, like I said, it's about the future. Not really worried about the future. Let's just focus on 2022. 
All right, for 2022, you lost Shelby Harris. Yeah, that's kind of a loss, but we can make up for it in a free agency in the draft. You lost Drew Locke. Not that big of a deal. You give up one quarterback for a better quarterback. Noah Fan, the tight end. Very talented, first rounder from a couple years ago. Give him up, but that's okay because you have Albert Okwakebunam. Hopefully I pronounced that correctly. Very talented tight end, 23 years old. He's going to be a starter in Denver. They didn't give up much. The Denver Broncos won this trade, in my opinion, by far. And I think that the Broncos are in position to make the Super Bowl, at least contend for it in 2022. The only thing that could really hurt them and hold them back is it's a tough division. The AFC West. The Raiders last year, very good team. And you could consider that the Raiders at this point are the worst team in the AFC West after the acquisition of Russell Wilson. Think about that for a second. The AFC West, the worst team. Right now, many people are saying the Raiders, who made the playoffs last year, that's the worst team. Chargers didn't make the playoffs, so you could say that they could uh, be the uh, worst division, but we know, or worst team in the division. But you know about Justin Herbert, the young offense, they're just up and coming. Uh, They're going to be contending for a playoff push as well. Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs making the AFC Championship game by far one of the best teams in the NFL. So it's going to be tough for the Broncos. If they do fairly well in the division, I don't think it's out of the question that the Broncos could make it far in 2022. So leave your thoughts in your comments down below. Let me know your opinions. Are the Broncos Super Bowl contenders?